I know what I'm talking about. That's the headline. (laughs) I know what I'm talking about. Very humble. When it comes to (laughs) rules in the NFL, I should be on the competition committee. I've said it over and over again. I'm telling you, folks, you're 20. Me, the NFL Network, when I first joined the tuck rule, I had to get it out of there. I'm like, that made no sense to me. It was properly called, Chris. Yeah, was it? It was. It was. Yeah. In the rule book. It was. And how was Des and I had not? To, excuse me. I'm going to get there. <laughs> In the rule book, I told Mike Pereira, the head of NFL refs at the time, when he said that the tuck rule removed the gray area. He literally said those words to me. And I'm like, what do you mean? It's the entirety of the gray area. When you take a football from up here by your head and then move it down to your body, that shouldn't be the process of throwing the ball. Like, that's still in the process of, of throw, like moving your arm forward. You're moving your hand down. Your arm's being moved down. That You're tucking it. That is the clearest indication of you no longer intend to throw. Thus, the minute you move your arm down, that makes you a runner. Thus, that should be a fumble. Get that out of the rule book. What ended up happening? Out of the rule book. It's gone. Gone. Poof. Like Kaiser Soze. Kaput. Then, your catch, the Des Bryant catch, totally was a catch. One million percent a catch. In the rule book, though, at the time, not a catch. That was properly called at the time. <sighs> and the reason why we had to really take a look at that rule is because there were beasts like Des Bryant who could, in the process of catching the ball, take two strides and pick up 10 yards in that process while going down to the ground. The process of going down to the ground with somebody like Des Bryant takes the entirety of a first down chain. So it was weird to see the process of going down to the ground not only include the that many that much real estate being acquired by a player, but also the act of reaching the ball out. He could do that. But no, that's still technically part of the process of catching the ball. Stupid, dumb, get it out of there. What ended up happening? Got out of there. Out. Yes, I'm taking credit for the removal of the tuck rule and the changing of the catch rule. I'm doing that. Thank you. Was I solely responsible for it? No. Uh-uh. <laughs> I just kept talking about it on NFL Network and then when this show existed. Part of the hum, sort of the Costanza. You leave the room and you're still humming. Hmm. Costanza. <laughs> That's right. The catch rule, the <laughs> tuck rule. Get it out. Wow. It, it now out. I have been pounding this desk over and over and over again. This stupid cockamamie rule that you fumble the ball into the end zone, you lose possession, and the defense gets it. Instead of you getting it, if you fumble it through the end zone, in the same way you'd get it if you fumbled it and it was on the one-inch side of the pylon in the field of play, not in the end zone. That two inches of real estate. Difference between keeping the ball and not. And I understand, Chris, you say that it's a special spot, that end zone. That's why it's called a touchdown. When you score in there, you're touching down. That's where you get the points. Don't fumble. Correct. I understand that. Ah, do you? I do. But you should also get the ball back if you fumble it through the end zone in the same way you'd get it if you just fumbled it out of bounds on the field side of the pylon. Footballs take weird bounces. Guess who's changing the rule? The XFL and the USFL. Now in those sports, in those leagues, the professional football, you fumble through the end zone, you get the ball back on offense at the spot of where you fumbled it. Huzzah. I'm telling everybody, just wait. And the NFL's like, we're not changing the rule. This is the way it's always been. And we take a look at it. It only happens like three, four, five times a year. Wait till it happens in the Super Bowl. Then you'll change it. Um, the flank, the rear flank of the NFL is wide open for this to be a major problem. You think this defensive holding call is a problem? Imagine one of the Chiefs fumbling through the end zone or an Eagle fumbling through the end zone and the other team gets the ball back, takes a knee and wins the Super Bowl. People will be like, half the, half the people who, who, who tuned in to just watch Rihanna will be like, what? Huh? All the people that were yeah, maybe putting a, a little something-something on it will be like, what? Huh? 
We, and nobody like that's the rule. The rule. Uh, they, I'm saying to everyone, you, you know the rule or not, doesn't matter. Because uh, to the naked eye, to the so-called ten people in a bar, it doesn't compute. Oh, so you get the ball back if you fumble it on the one inch line, but if you fumble it one inch into the end zone, you don't. Correct. The XFL and the USFL says, done with that. The NFL is now the outlier and college football. Get rid of it. I'm telling you, it's coming. You may not like it, but it's coming. And it should come to the NFL right now. You mean the two leagues that matter have it the right way, and then the two upstarts are trying you? something How different? How dare you say that? Will you say that if Dwayne Johnson was sitting here right now? Warren's yeah, college teammate. Yeah, I would tell him how it's kind of dumb. Like, don't fumble. You would tell The Rock that's what you're cooking? Get out of here. Stinks. Saying don't fumble is... Yeah, of course you don't no, want to fumble. Look, the Patriots never reach for the pylon. They've been taught not to do it, and they've been coached not to do it, and they don't do it. It never happens to them, is what I'm saying. It but, also, it also but, how many but, times did it happen this year? But it never happens to them. But that same team that's so usually buttoned up, let's have Jacoby Myers just fling it back directly at a, a Las Vegas Raider. These things happen. It's going to happen to you. It is the dumbest rule in football. It makes no sense. There are way dumber rules. Than and this. and all I'm saying is, you may <laughs> you you uh, we have argued about this. You I have know, taken I you know, have taken know. the status quo part of this argument since day one. I'm telling you that at the end of the day, it's full Willy Wonka. This rule will not change. In you our lifetime. lose. Good day, sir. It's coming. I'll take that bet. Okay. Because the USFL and the XFL is going to show the NFL how it's going to do it. And then one day it's going to happen in a big game. And the NFL and the competition committee go, hmm, like, where have we heard this before? And I'll say, give me a spot in your room. These leagues I'll may save not you the trouble. exist in a year. They will. They will. We're on they, XFL version three. You know why they're going to work? You know why it's going to survive? Because they have good rules. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel. 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 